So today's video is going to be, um, I read an article and it said how to get a French tip using just a rubber band and I wanted to go ahead and give that a shot. I've been doing it now, this is probably my third time doing it, but I'm still not a pro at this yet, so do forgive me. Basically what you do is you take the rubber band and as you can see you drape it across just at the end of your nail and then you drag it pinching it on both sides and then you take whatever color you'd like and then apply it just to the end here the trick with this is, is it's not the getting the nail polish on it's getting that rubber band off without messing up what you just did now I'm not one who likes to use color I love the look of a natural nail but I figured I'd give it a shot you never know. Such a light color. And I went ahead and I already did my left hand, so that way while my right hand's drawing, I can finish up and then show you what it looks like. And I kind of, whenever I'm removing it from my nail, I kind of flip it back so that way it doesn't hit the just put it on paint messing up any of the corners it actually look at my left hand there actually goes pretty good and I'm not like I said I don't use color very often on my nails looks really nice I like it that and I don't really like going to have people mess with my fingers I like to be the one to do it so if anything happens I can blame myself so basically what you do is you just pinch one side bring it right down to the edge drape it over And then you secure it. Forgive me, my pinkies are a little dysfunctional. Get that a little shake. It seems to. And then just paint it in there. I'm pretty sure that the people in the video had many of months of practice doing this. So there we go. One of the things I guess that you'd want to watch out for is smudging. I'm getting this all over. Like I said, I'm not a pro at this. But practice does make perfect. And yes, I do keep. Alright, let me fix that really quick because that was going to drive me crazy. Come on. Work with me. Alright, that one's a lost cause. I'm going to have to come back to that one. Then again, on this hand, this nail has been the one that's been giving me many and many a problem. So I'm going to take all this stuff off and I'll start over with that one. Anyway, so I'll take all that off and after the video I'll fix it. Anyway, basically, you just take it, wrap it over, because I'm not going to sit here and fuss with this anymore because now I'm frustrated. I guess uh, my next tip would be to let your fingers dry beforehand. Anyway, left hand. After you're done doing it, it leaves, as you can see, a perfect line. You can definitely take fingernail polish remover if you get it on your skin or underneath your skin. I'll deal with that hand in a minute. And then last once it's all dry, which now it should all be nice and dry. Let your top coat shine. That's really pretty. And then voila. It looks beautiful. Sorry, if I get frustrated in the middle of doing something, I will definitely quit and then continue doing something else. That just annoys me. It's 
but it looks really pretty. Pretty sure once I get it all done. That's probably why I prefer nothing but a natural look because I don't have to fuss with color and all that. So there you go. That's the end of it. And that's just using a rubber band. There you go.